I am, uh, I'm back again. I'm back again. I'm back at this template, back at this template thing. Um, so I had a little beat when we left off. Uh, literally, it's two bars long. Um, and I just want to touch on one thing. This view is kind of confusing. Um, this is called session view. Um, we want to go to arrangement view here, and this is what we're more familiar with uh, if you're coming from another program. Um, you see the time is at the bottom here, and the bars are at the top, and you can zoom in and whatever. So it's very, very, um, very different. This view will just keep looping continuously, and this view will play a designated amount of something. Um, so this is more like your looping window, and this is more like your arrangement window. When I'm making beats, I'm usually in this window because I find it more, you know, kind of more better to work in. I mean, you know, a bit more better. Um, I'm going to show you an example of transitioning between these two views. Um, I'm just going to make another pattern and part two here. Um, so as you, as you can see, I'm just going to leave this kind of recording and then I can just, you know, it doesn't really matter what I can play, what I play because I can, I can choose that loop after. So I'm going to play another loop. Okay. And I can literally highlight that two bars to have a loop. I don't think I'm in the same key though, so this isn't gonna work. Good enough for me, I'm gonna copy this MIDI track into the pad track so it layers. Okay, so we have a pretty legit beat. So let's do a few things here. The, the way I usually do this is I'll drag these down here, have something where it's just, you know, like a little intro part. And then I can label these, for example, intro, V1, and V2. When I hit record and press, press something. It's all being transferred <clears throat> into arrangement view for session view. Whatever we do here will take effect over here. And this is essentially how you do live sets uh, and things like that too. You can record them and then work with that. So what I like to do is make a bunch of little loops in here and then just flip through them live and watch my arrangement recorded live in that view. start labeling this and making it look all cool yeah um, so hopefully that helps out a bit